Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a dumbbell chart in Excel. And in this video also, I will be taking the same example of Moody's for, uh, GDP forecast. And uh, I will also show you how to create, uh, how to convert a line chart to a dumbbell chart. So, so this is called the dumbbell chart. So now we will be seeing how to how we can create this kind of chart in excel so the data here you are already familiarized with because they, this, we are using the same data uh, for where we used it for the slope chart as well so i'm using the same data so so dumbbell chart uh, if you look at the uh, <clears throat> shape of this uh, chart there are two points one is the green circle and the red circle and in, and in between there is a rectangle line right so it is in the shape of a dumbbell right so to measure the dumbbell chart uh, uh, the only thing you need to see is, is the only thing you need to look at the this is the line between the two circles right uh, so if the line is small if the rectangle line is small then the effect of the GDP percentage is small. If the line is big, then you can assume that the GDP forecast percent has uh, has increased. And if you look at this person, this line, there is a drastic uh, change in GDP, right? So for Italy, 3.8 to minus 4.5 percent. So that is why the line between the two circles is very big, right? So in that way, you can measure uh, this using the dumbbell chart. Now let us uh, see how we can create a uh, dumbbell chart from scratch in real time. Right? Let me make it small. So to create a dumbbell chart like this, first we need to insert a line chart. So to insert a line chart, first we need to select the data range here and go to the insert tab. And in the insert tab, now in this case, we need to take line chart with markers, right? So for slope chart, we took this as an example, right? But for the dumbbell chart, we need to take this uh, uh, this line chart, line with markers, right? Now, after this, we need to customize this line chart so that we can convert this into a dumbbell chart. So we need to do few customizations. The first one is to remove the uh, uh, um, and the percentages which are which are seeing here we need to remove these percentages in the y-axis right and we will also remove the grid lines right now the next step is to if you observe this uh, line chart with markers here also we are having the markers and in, in, in between we are having these lines right so uh, but here we will we will we need to remove this line in between the two markers right so to remove the line between the two markers what you need to do is you need to select the blue line first then click on right, right click and select format data series again in format data series go to the fill option in the fill option <coughs> either you can select the no line option or you can also change the color to white, right? So any one option you can choose, but the best option should be will be this one, no line, right? So this is how you can remove the line between the two markers. Now, after removing the line, the next step is to increase the size of this markers, right? So to increase the size of this markers, you need to go to the marker uh, menu and in the marker options, you will find the built-in option right you need to click on the built-in option and here you need to increase the size of the markers so currently it is 5 so let us increase till 10 enter yeah now you can see the marker size has been increased right now now let us uh, change the color of this markers so currently it is blue right so we will change it to green color right now in the same way uh, we need to follow so 
here you can see there is a border line as well so here we are having a border for this markers right so let us remove those borders as well we don't want those borders so let us remove them so go to and go to the border section and click no line now let us close this and now let us follow the same method for this orange line as well so once you select this right click on it and click on format data series and go to the fill option and here you can click on uh, sorry not no fill you can click on no line and here also you can click on no line and in the marker go to the marker section the marker options uh, click on written and increase the size of the marker to 10 and once you increase the size of the marker let's change the color of the marker to print right so now this is done now the next thing we need to do is sorry so the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, bring the label to downwards right so whatever the country uh, you are seeing here this is called a label this is not exactly these are these are nothing but labels we need to bring this labels to down here right so to bring this labels to down uh, what you need to do is you need to right click like this right click on it go to format axis once you go to format access, you will find the option for labels here. So inside the labels, uh, you need to change the position of this label to low. So you need to select this drop down and click on low. And now you can see the labels have moved to down, right? So now we are done with this. And the line here which you are seeing is the x-axis line, right? So now the next thing is to add the horizontal lines between the two circles right so we are you now we need to add this horizontal line between the two circles so to add the horizontal line uh, what you need to do is you need to select the entire chart go to chart design and in the chart design in the left hand side you will find add chart elements right so you need to click on that and go to the line section in the line section select high low lines right you need to select this high low lines now after selecting this high low lines uh, we need to increase the width of this line right so so that uh, it will match the circles uh, so to increase the width of this line what you need to do is first you need to select the lines here after selecting the lines right click and format high low lines now in the format section you may need to increase the width right so to increase the width you will find option here width so currently it is 0 0.75 but we need to increase it a little bit more right? so click on this until uh, you will get the proper power of the line horizontal line now let us increase a bit more right I think 10 is good thing so it is currently fitting both the circles here right now we increase the width of the line here now let us change the color to a gray color here right now we also modified the color of this lines now the next thing here is we need to add the data labels so if you remember in the starting we removed the uh, y-axis uh, the uh, labels right so now uh, we need to add the add those data labels here uh, on the upside and on the low side above and below we need to add the data labels right so to add the data labels first we need to select in the green circles right first we need to select the green circles and go to the add element add chart element section and here we need to select the data labels so here first will be above section right now in the same way let us add the data labels to the below to the red circles as well so once again go to add chart elements data labels below right 
now we are now we have added the data labels as well now let us move the the next step is to move the uh, legend uh, the year with to above right to above section so go to the add chart elements in the legend section click on top right now we are almost done with the dumbbell chart the only thing is we need to change the name of the chart so here let's change the name of the chart to modis gdp forecast or at least right and there you have it we have successfully created the dumbbell chart using line chart so this is how you can create a dumbbell chart uh, using line chart so i hope you understood the process it is very easy if you understand how you can uh, format uh, this uh, lines and how you can uh, add the data labels so i hope you understood the process of uh, creating the dumbbell chart and uh, here if you here you can easily now identify which country has the biggest drop in gdp now if i ask uh, you which country has the biggest drop in gdp you can easily tell that italy is the uh, country which has the biggest drop in gdp because the the line between the two circles is very big because there is a drastic change from 3.8% to minus 4.5% right so that is why uh, dumbbell chart clearly tells that italy is uh, having the uh, highest drop in gdp percentage right so that's it uh, i hope you understood the process of creating dumbbell chart if you have any questions please put it down in the comment section i will answer them and if you find the video to be informative and useful to you then please consider subscribing to my channel so that i can uh, make much more interesting videos on excel thank you